Hello there, Simon Trace here, something you might call me Simon Trace. Now today's railway journey is actually going to be a bit different. Now you're questioning yourself, why is it going to be different? Because we're going to be chasing a Class 40 diesel locomotive from Warsaw to Kings Norton. And with the time that I could do it, we'd just about do it if I get the right trades, if all trades are on time and everything. Because it passes Warsaw at 10.27, I leave Warsaw at half past 10. I arrive at Kings Norton at three minutes before it passes through Kings Norton. So we're going to try that and then after that we are going to be visiting one railway station which is the following Doywich Spa. So we are waiting now for the 0950 West Midlands Railway Series to take us to Warsaw and then we've got 10 minutes to wait before that Class 40 passes through. So let's pop on board and see if I can catch this 40 at two different locations. Okay, a very quick uptake before we pull it into Caddock. Now unfortunately that plan that I was going to chase the Class 40 is not going to happen now because the Class 40 is running 11 minutes late and the Class 40 is 40.013. So I'm going to Birmingham New Street now because I'm going to get another railway station in to get the Class 40 at this railway station. So I'm just going to have a look now and then once at Birmingham I'll let you all know. After crossing over the M6 toll we soon depart Warsaw Station and not stop at this location as planned. Before we pass through Bescott Yard and just see wagons, but further down the yard we do see a locomotive, a DB Cargo Class 66, 66056, just the one loco. Anyway, we're now getting off the train at Birmingham New Street. Behind me is 172338 and we're at Bergen Blue Street Station. We're going to jump on that now because we are going to Bromsgrove instead of chasing it at Warsaw and Kings Norton. So we're going to jump on that train now and leave Bergen Blue Street to head to Bromsgrove. After a quick change at Bergen Blue Street, we're now passing Five Way Station on the Cross City Line and also speeding through Bar Green Station before arriving into Bromsgrove. <laughs> As I mentioned at the start of the video, I was planning to chase the Class 40, but as I mentioned on the train, it was running 10 minutes late when it was getting to Stafford. And I thought, well, I can't chase it now, so I had to come to this railway station right here. This is Bromsgrove Railway Station, West Midlands Railway operated and has four platforms, but only three platforms get regular loose. Platforms two, with services going towards Birmingham. Platform three is the Cross City Lines terminated services. And platform four is the services that go on to Hereford. And to be honest with you, I do not like this station at all because they relocated to this location in 2016 because it was only a two station originally and it was much further towards the Mickey Incline. But this station is the revolutionised of the cross city services where they got extended to Bronzegrove, it got electrified. But it's not a good location to film trains, to be honest with you. Because sometimes you have to be at the other end for the 323s to leave, and sometimes you have to be down here for the Hereford trains and the cross-country services that speed through here. So it's one of those stations you've got to be all over the place. And that's why I don't like it. 
I preferred it when it was like the old station, but the railways have to modernise. As I mentioned with the Class 40, that I was going to get it at Warsaw, then Kings Norton, but when it got to Kings Norton, it had to be waiting for the HST to speed through, which you saw in the video. So that's why I come to Bromsgrove to get the Class 40 here, which was my least location to get it, but unfortunately I had no choice. So we're going to do the station history of Bromsgrove, and then carry on doing some more filming before I move on to Deutwich Spa, which is my next station. Bromsgrove Station opened as part of the Birmingham and Gloucester Railway on the 24th of June 1840. In June 1969, the station was rebuilt with one platform on the upline, which required down trains to cross onto the upline to stop at the station. A second platform was added in May 1990. The current station opened on the 12th of July 2016, and the three letter station code is BMV. So my time is nearly up at Bromsgrove and to be honest with you, thank God as well because you've got to run around here like a headless chicken. So we are catching the 1211 West Midlands Railway Service which will take us to Deutwich Spa. So I'm going to catch my train now and meet you at my next location. Thank God we are now leaving Bromsgrove Station as it's a location that I'm not a big fan of. But anyway, we're now moving on to Deutwich Spa Station. So my next station that I'm visiting, and we're back on track now, is Deutwich Spa Railway Station. And it's a West Midlands Railway operated, it has two platforms. And Deutwich Spa is actually like a tie loop because it's still got lots of centerfold signals still around here. Just lots and lots of centerfold signals, and it's also got a signal box as well, which is at the north end of the station, just where the Y junction is. After visiting Bromsgrove, this is much nicer to visit at, to be honest with you. If you can at home, that's free now. I think. But um, we are here, excuse me, we are here to do some filming for an hour and then we're going to move on to part two of the video. So the station history of Deutwich Spa is coming up now and we'll fill some more trade through here. Deutwich Spa station was opened by the Oxford, Worcester and Wolverhampton Railway in 1852. But when the station opened it was just named Deutwich. The station was rebuilt in 1899 by John Corbett and the spa suffix was added. The three letter station code for Deutwich Spa is DTW.
was just going to take this time to do something different because I'm going to be honest with you all. The community that I'm in, with rail enthusiasts, trade spotters, or just people like trades in general, is an awesome community to be a part of. And what I'm going to do now is do a new segment called Sidetrack Shoutout. Now, what Sidetrack Shoutout is, I'm going to list 10 YouTube channel names on the screen right here. And feel free to subscribe to their channels, feel free to give them a watch and their subscription probably will be appreciated. And plus these people that I'm going to shout out do regularly comment on my videos as well. So just as a kind gesture of return the favour, I'm just going to shout your channel names out as a thank you. So here's the list of people that I'm going to shout out right now. And if I don't shout your name out, please don't be offended because there will be another sidetrack shout out on Thursday's video as well. Andrew J. Gilt, Jacob Rail Adventures, Michael Sebastian Todd, Pep EMU fan, John Whitehouse, The Brummy Rail Enthusiast, Emma Causer, G Loves Trains, Simon The Rail Enthusiast 83, and Christine Rail Journeys. And please do go check their channels out if you do like it. Feel free to hit their subscribe button and their notification bell. Now this is part of the railway journey where I talk about my journey down to Doywich Spa railway station and I'm going to be honest with you, there has been no hiccups except for one thing that I did mention at the beginning of the video but unfortunately I couldn't do it. Because we're going to be chasing a class 40 diesel locomotive from Warsaw to Kings Norton. Now the reason I didn't do that because the class 40 was running late so I thought right, I'll have to pick a different railway station, just visit there and film the class 40 go through that railway station. Unfortunately though that railway station was Bromsgrove and it's probably one of the worst stations to film trains at because you've got to be at the southern end and you've got to be at the north end filming the trains going in and out because especially you've got some services terminated from Literal Trent Valley on the Cross City services. I did prefer the old railway station but they had to modernise it for the Cross City services. So would I recommend filming at Bromsgrove for an hour? No. But I would recommend it if you're just going to get something at Bromsgrove, yes. And then after Bromsgrove, I came to Deutwich Spa Railway Station and just had an hour filming the West Midlands Railway Services here, which was quite good, to be honest with you. Now, first day's video, we are visiting two more railway stations, which are the following. Worcester Fourgate Street, Ash Church for Tewkesbury. So we're going to Worcester Fourgate Street to do some filming there, and then I'm going to Ash Church for Tewkesbury because there is some good rumours at that location. We've got steam locomotives, we should have a nuclear flask move, and we also should have the Class 40 returning as well, but that's going to be light engine. And we're also meeting up with someone at Church for Tewkesbury as well. So if you do like this video, feel free to give this a like, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Looking forward to hearing your comments. We're going to end this video with our train arriving to take us to Worcester Fourgate Street. So thank you for watching, stay safe, and see you soon for the next railway journey. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to say yes, I did travel down from Doywich Bar to Worcester Fourgate Street on 170, 17502. 